Major League Baseball, America's favorite pastime, immortalized in films like A League of Their Own and Field of Dreams. The one constant through all the years, Ray, has been baseball. All too often, another constant has been baseball players using tobacco, especially chewing tobacco, a known cause of cancer. It's what led to the early death of Hall of Famer Tony Gwynn, who died in June of cancer in his salivary gland, a diagnosis Gwynn blamed on chewing tobacco. Baseball great Babe Ruth, also a longtime chewer, died of oral cancer. Now nine major public health organizations are pushing Major League Baseball to ban all tobacco use by players and staff at games and on camera to honor Gwynn's memory. They sent this letter to MLB Commissioner Bud Selig and Players Association Chief Tony Clark calling on them to set the right example for America's kids. Kids see their heroes on the field and they want to emulate and be just like their favorite slugger or their favorite pitcher. It's blood! What? Chewing tobacco? Backy, man. 1993's The Sandlot illustrates yes. that point. Yeah, sure, man. All the pros do. Yeah, yeah. Gives you tons of energy. Yeah. If only it were pure fiction. A June CDC report found that while smoking rates for high school students have fallen by more than half since 1999, smokeless tobacco use by students has held steady. And these groups have been waging this battle over baseball and health for years. Similar letters in 2011 and 2012 pushed the league to act, as did this tobacco-free kids PSA. At the age of 13, I wasn't really thinking about the long-term effects of tobacco. Commissioner Selig pushed for a total ban in 2011, but the players' union instead called for restrictions, opting to let players keep their habit as long as it was out of the public eye. The 2011 labor contract banned smokeless tobacco use during TV interviews and club appearances, orders players and staff to hide tobacco products when fans are around, and bans carrying them in their uniforms or on their bodies. Still. You can't go through a three-hour game and not see players with a big wad of chaw in their, in their jaws. What we really need to have with the agreement uh, starting in 2017 is an end of smokeless tobacco use in general on the field. Advocates are hoping that if they build awareness for it, their dream of tobacco-free fields comes true.